Hello guys, uh, Create Tutorials here. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm doing a uh, like a uh, hmm, I don't know what to call it, but like how to sync like these small uh, color flashes to the beats, like bam, bam, really cool effect. And by the way, guys, I've got uh, CS6 now. Adobe After Effects CS6, the new version. Um, and if you don't have it, I really recommend you get it because it has some really cool features in this program. Um, yeah, I will be bringing you more tutorials about this. Uh, next tutorial is going to be a, a 3D motion tracking in only After Effects with this. Um, program so 3D no Buju or no Cinema 4D just After Effects but yeah let's go on with this tutorial so this is okay um, so basically what we have here is just it just syncs and then bam 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 okay so we better get started because this tutorial is going to be long uh, okay I'm just gonna delete every single of this uh, okay so what I have here is just my uh, my clip it's just a uh, uh, quarry uh, 360 no scope across the map really sick uh, and then I have some color correction just uh, from Sammy's CC's really cool and then what I have is just a Twix store uh, right here and then right here just some simple Twix stores and then I have some real smart motion blur um, then I have my song uh, yeah, synced up and stuff, so I know. And then some gun sounds, just a reversed intervention sound, and and I just a normal. Okay, so uh, what you first wanna be doing is you wanna drag in your uh, song, and I really recommend it has like small beats, and then a big beats for the big shoot, like do uh, do do, and then like the big shot yeah <laughs> I'm sorry but uh, I think you will understand like okay so we better get going so you wanna go and ahead and make a new solid and just make it any whatever color you l would like and add in fill generate fill and drag to the solid and here you can change whatever color you l would like so I'm just gonna take a red for now uh, now you just go to the first beat because you yeah I forgot to say tell this for you guys first you wanna mark out the beats where it yeah the beats at song uh, so I recommend around four or five like beats you gonna sync before the big shots yeah so uh, here's the first so I'm just gonna control shift D oh. I'm just gonna go and split split layer uh, yeah, split layer and then go about I don't know really just maybe uh, let's see here um, yeah I don't know really but <laughs> maybe 20 frames I don't know just go something uh, okay so now what you want to do is you right click blending mode and put it to add and then what you want to do is just wait, go to the first beat yeah um, you want to click the mask tool and you want to mask out uh, one little like uh, one little like bar or something and then hold shift to get a straight 
straight uh, straight and nice like line and I just make this looking really cool so now we just wanna duplicate it about three or four times depends how much uh, how many lines you want but now you just click and hold shift and drag it so you get uh, so you get it straight and nice and then for the third one is click and hold shift and drag out to maybe around here so I will just do this real quick okay so basically get this um, and now we have basically just that like a little bit synced um, oh, I just realized this was wrong okay like that Okay, so now what you want to do is just want to click uh, and control click on everyone and click T for opacity. And you want to click opacity and change it to zero and go about just, just a little bit forward and then drag it to 100, then drag it about there, uh, click a keyframe and then go to the last keyframe and put it to zero. Zero. Then highlight them. Right click keyframe assistant. Yeah, this is something new with the uh, 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 CS6. But just re right click keyframe assistant and ECEs. But for some reason you have to click keyframe velocity. So yeah, whatever. Um, so now we got these. In sync and stuff, bam, and yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, maybe you wanna change the colors of everyone. Is go to the fill and just pick whatever color you would like. Blue. And what I also like is just select all, click MM or F. Yeah, F is better. And put the mess feather to ten on the on the dough. Uh, on their all, and then you just wanna control click on everyone and control C, control V, drag it to the next beat, and just yes, so on. Um, now you wanna basically just maybe you wanna, yeah, basically. Just duplicate it one more time. You maybe want to have like, uh, like there. Duplicate it one more time. Have it one there. Just so it's five. And let's go to fill and change the colors again. So get like this, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and then on the third one, wanna maybe on the third beat, just wanna control shift. Uh, just yeah, you basically wanna um, control shift D again. No, con control C, control V to paste it. I mean, sorry. Um, and maybe you wanna have these lines like horizontal now um, and the way that you do that is just uh, take this take the rotation tool or you just click R, uh, R I mean and put uh, the rotation to about, about 32 I, would, I really like at them all actually so I'm just gonna go to R and R and R and make everyone 32 and then just uh, take one maybe drag one there yeah just, just place them out guys just be creative 
uh, and then this is too small so just click on S and make the scale bigger that's the only uh, function I have found pretty much more yeah, about there and it's duplicate that and then maybe place it there and then on the one that's left now this one you wanna place it at the same place around uh, around there so that's looking pretty good so now it will like BAM but wait I don't like this yeah and just go and change the color that's easy how how easy it is um, yeah so I'm just gonna Um, and then for the fir fourth beat, you can make it like so it goes back, like one here, and then the other comes there, and the other comes there, like so, looking six here. But uh, that's like the thing, guys. Um, that's how you do it. Um, I'm up already up in five minutes, so I will just render this out and show you or pre-render it out yeah yeah oh I forgot guys okay uh, so basically how you make these like looking more professional like more glowing just add a stylish glow to them all and just add, add it to the one and put a glow radius to 50 and just uh, click on that control C and just highlight them all by clicking at one and click on the last one and hold control shift control shift uh, and then you just wanna control V to paste it and you get it on everyone. It looking much more better now. Wait ah fuck um yeah it's not that much to say actually I will just run this out so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, please leave a like and a comment below it really helps me it really motivates me to continue doing tutorials for you guys um, yeah. Check out more. yeah yeah so that's looking pretty good actually like synced up to the shots and really easy and nice thing to do so uh, yeah guys check out the video and, uh, bye